If you are a new student to our district, um, the process for signing in is just slightly different. You're still going to type in your first initial, last name, your ID number, at M-U-H-S-D students, students with an S, dot O-R-G. And then your birth date, two digits for the month, two digits for the day, four digits for the year. Okay, since this is a new account, I've never never used it before. Um, you have to agree to the Google terms of use or terms of service. And so you're expected to read this. Um, and then down at the bottom, you need to type in these funny letters here. This is to make sure that you're not an automated program trying to create accounts that will be abused. So you're kind of on your own doing these because I have a hard time doing them. If you mess it up the first time, it'll just give you another one to try. Um, so don't stress out too much about it. And then you're going to click I accept, continue to my account. And then you'll get the, uh, the, the chance to choose a picture for yourself. Um, you'll get a chance to go through the Google tutorial, or the Samsung Chromebook tutorial, I should say. And it will tell you all about the Chrome operating system and how you save files and things like that. Okay, we're not going to do that right now. Um, now, when you use the devices here at school, um, you do not have to put in a Wi-Fi password. Um, these are automatically set up to connect to the MUHSD student Wi-Fi. You do not need to use these on the MUHSD guest. MUHSD guest is for devices that are not owned by the school. So if you're bringing in your cell phone, um, a tablet, or your own laptop, then you would use the MUHSD guest. These devices should connect automatically to MUHSD student. So if you take your device home and you want to connect to your Wi-Fi at home, or if you're at Starbucks and you want to use theirs, you need to click on this little area down in the bottom right corner where you see the Wi-Fi symbol. And when you click on that, um, you will see a choice of uh, Wi-Fi here. If you click on that, um, it lets you pick the Wi-Fi that you want to connect to. Um, so you would click on the, the Wi-Fi that you want to use at home, um, and then you would put in the password. If your Wi-Fi at home does not have a password, it really, really should. Um, you want to make sure you, you keep unwanted guests off of your Wi-Fi. Uh, but that's where you would you would find the uh, the connection to your home Wi-Fi down in the lower right hand corner.